In the scene hierarchy, we have device, camera, and focal distance. The device is this guy here. And over here, we can see the screen resolution, the relative scale of the device, and a few other device-centric things. The camera, which is also essentially right here, it's that little circle. You can extract the texture, which is this video feed here, or do segmentation, which is like green screening. And then the focal distance is this rectangle over here. It's essentially where the user might be or where the subject is. So to illustrate this, let's just grab a diamond and drop it in here. So dropping it in this empty space added it in the focal distance. That's because usually you'll work in this space for a lot of your filters. So you can see it's here kind of in front of my face and it's on this side. It's not over in the camera area, but at the focal distance. And if we move the camera around, you can see that diamond goes with it. Now, if we take this and move it into the camera space, it pops over here. Because the focal distance is here, camera's over here. And if we move around, it rotates, but it's not moving you know, left, right, up, down anymore. Let's reset that camera again. And now we can put it all the way into the device. And so now as we move around, the diamond is stationary. So it's no longer inside the camera. We can also bring it all the way out of the device. And now this is more in world space. And again, if we move this around, the diamond is stationary. It's a little confusing at first, but once you start building filters, you'll understand that if you want things in the world space, you're going to pull it a little bit further out of the stack. And if you want it to be maybe just a face filter, you can usually work in focal distance.